Welcome back guys. Jet Scott here. Scott Speed Shop. And we're going to do something that I promised you in a previous video that involved that little A-body four-speed there. But first got to show you this. For anybody who's watched the channel for any length of time, that is the Scatter Shield. An old Anson Forge Steel Scatter Shield for Jezebel. And I had originally polished this thing. And it was polished steel, and I did the red candy stripes. Well, I decided, you know what? Jezebel's all about red and gold, so bam. I am not a Chiefs fan, by the way. Just because I live in Kansas don't mean I like the Chiefs. And this thing, unfortunately, turned out to be, you know, the Chiefs' colors. But I like it. it turned out pretty good. Minus a couple of the runs in the clear coat, but I'm real proud of it. Got a real nice finish to it, so clean that up. Taped it off this morning. But... We did organize the garage a lot because this weekend we do have an adventure coming up. We're going to pick up another engine because that's exactly what I needed was another engine. But you know what? It's going to be badass. And we got some plans for it involving that little guy right there, old 471 blower. But I <clears throat> got the big Kimmy moved and we have this bench finally cleared off. This bench has not seen daylight in probably 10, 15 years. But sitting on it is my 18 spline four speed for my 70 charger jezebel and we're going to show you how to adjust these shift rods perfectly so let me get you set up and we'll start working away at it all right so we're just going to get straight into it so on a her shift there's actually a really nifty place and unfortunately i can't really show you but it's right here there's a little half moon and if you take a nail or i found a screwdriver works even better because it's the perfect diameter you ought to be able to slip it through everything and that finds you true neutral as you can see our screwdriver don't go all the way through but this shifter does work in all the gears we have one two three and four and we also have reverse but it's kind of hard to move over on a bench <clears throat> but we want to make sure this thing is like our a body four speed that has a perfect shift and this thing could be over shifting under shifting as you can see screwdriver just don't fit in there so what you're going to need, half inch socket, you need to unbolt all of these rods off of here. So let's do that. Now this shifter, I thought I had shifting perfectly, but now that I know what I know now, I'm going to make this thing better. So what you need to do is this your three, four rod on a Chrysler. This damn pistol grip is making it real hard. You're going to get that one lined up, and then you want to get the screwdriver lined up in that hole. I want to get our reverse rod back. And basically the goal here is to get all of these holes lined up so that way you can push your screwdriver through. So I'm going to do that, and I'll see you guys. Well, so much for that informative video. <laughs> you know what? I totally, uh, this does not apply to this here super shifter apparently because it has, uh, wait, hang on. Oh, if I re if I lift the detent for the reverse lockout, there we go. Never mind, I'm an idiot. So you see how that screwdriver fits in there perfectly now? So you pull that out, that's going to let everything fall. So there's a hole here in the one, two rod and in the reverse rod. So you shove that baby in there. Nothing can move. So now you can adjust everything. And all you do is screw these in and out until everything lines up really good. Like this one fits perfectly. So we don't need to adjust it any. We'll go over here to our one, two. And it's fine as well. It needs nothing. I thought I had this thing actually a little bit messed up, but I guess I probably had it pretty close. Huh. Well, dang. And then we'll do our reverse rod and it is in fact a little bit too long so we're going to screw it in a little bit and maybe it was a little bit too short hang on gotta pull it back off yeah there we go we'll unscrew it one turn all right so i got this one fitting and i actually had this thing pretty well adjusted to begin with kind of shocked myself there nope maybe not yeah, that reverse rod, what I'm going to have to do is this is still fitting a little bit tight. I'm going to have to add a couple more threads to this reverse rod, which is easy. You just take your tap and die set and you just thread this rod a little bit more. 
But you know what? This is actually pretty simple. This is a lot more easy go ahead video. But yeah, basically what you want to do is get all of these things adjusted till they fit real nice. And this will apply to a GM Muncie transmission, any Mopar four speed. I don't think it would apply to a top loader because it's a whole different system. But yeah, this is basically all you got to do to adjust your Hurst shifter on your four speed. It's really simple and it's definitely something you should do. What that screwdriver does is locks the shifter into neutral and that's where you need to adjust the shifter from is from neutral. That gets everything right in line. So there you go. Pull the screwdriver out. Now you're in neutral. One, two, three, four. Man, that three, four is really short. And then we want to try. Yeah, yeah, it's way too much to pull it over and reverse. Oh, there we go. And there's reverse. That was way too simple of a video. Real short and sweet. I wasn't expecting it to go that easy. But yeah, basically all you need to do is like I showed you. Like on this reverse, on this her super shifter has reverse lockout. You want to put it in reverse lockout. And there's that hole right there. A nail, screwdriver, something like that. Get it in there and it locks it so that way you can no longer move that. And then from there, you just take these off, thread them in, thread them out until they fit perfectly on here. You don't want to force them on there. And once they fit perfectly, you can pull your screwdriver out. Bam. And you have a shifter. Perfectly shifting shifter, I should say. So that was really short and sweet. Wow. But I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of informative video. You know, if you liked it, hit the like button. Give it the big old thumbs up, you know, and uh, leave a comment down below if I'm a moron or something. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm honestly just flabbergasted here on how easy that went. I was expecting that to fight me a little more. That A-body four-speed over there fought me a whole hell of a lot more getting it done. You know, the same thing applies to it as well. You take your screwdriver, and you just got to get her lined up in the hole, just like that. And now this thing doesn't work. You pull that out. And now you have all your perfect shift points. So that works out real easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm going to sign off, and I'm going to get back to work because we got to get that engine stand out and get it over here so we can make anticipation for, make ready for the anticipation of our next project engine. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Jed Scott signing off. Bye-bye.